you know, if you're a job shop, you're looking to move up from perhaps three plus two, four plus one application and get into true five axis, we've got a lot of options. I'm with Dan Strubell, he's an application engineer with DMG Mori. And Dan, we're standing in front of a DMU 50. Is this the machine that you would put into that job shop that I've just been talking about? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, uh, it makes things a lot easier for the customer to change over very quickly, do three plus two very quickly, even do three axis very quickly. So when you have a shop that is a lot of different changeover parts, this is definitely beneficial to them. And then also looking at like parts that maybe have a lot of different sides to them, so you're not doing a bunch of different fixtures, you can put that all into one fixture and do like a part off. Now, uh, when you put these machines into shops like that at that point, is it, uh, can they easily make the transition from the kind of technology we're talking about, the 3 plus 2, maybe a retrofit machine, an older machine, and then take full advantage of the 5 axes? Yeah, that's the, the biggest advantage when we have the C-Lose control with Siemens. It really makes that changeover very easy and understand how to do the 3 plus 2, even full 5, because of the how simple the control is. It's all in front of you with like a mask. Even when we do like a full simultaneous cut, it's all in front of you and the explanation is there. It's very, very simple. So when we start to, start to look at the word five axis, people start to take a step back. I like them to kind of understand that most of the work that we're gonna be doing on this is three plus two or maybe four plus one. And it, and it really makes it really easy for the customer. And the biggest thing about going with like a DMU 50 is they're dramatically gonna reduce their setup time. And that, for anyone that's gonna be doing any shop, that's the biggest thing. They need to reduce setup time. Uh, Daniel, I, I see it, I'm sure you see it, the same thing. And people fall in love with horsepower and spindle speed. But overall, it's cut to cut. Cycle time is what really matters yes. in this case. Uh, how important is that setup time issue to, to make it a productive operation? So, like, as an application engineer for DMG Mori, we always like to talk about how we can, what is cut time. And I think that cut time from manufacturer to manufacturer is gonna be like a 10% reduction. But the biggest thing that I've seen is the reduction in setup time, the overall process of their part. And I think that is really the biggest benefit. So if we can take someone setup time from a changeover from an hour to a half hour, that's where they're gonna see that cost benefit. Sure, sure. So I mean, the Holy Grail of course is done in one. You wanna yeah. basically clock a block, uh, block of metal in this machine, walk away, come back, and then have a high value added yeah. part done. Is, uh, is, is this where this is going on the job shop level, you think? Yeah, I think that is the biggest thing when we start to look at parts on this is when we see uh, a customer comes in, they have a part, and they show us how they're doing it traditionally, maybe one, two, or three Kurt vices on a traditional 40 by 20, we take all that in and see how we can put it on one clamp and then save that setup time of having to set up all these different vices on a, like a traditional C-type you know, 40 by 20, and then they're getting that cost because now their operator can go away and do something else in, somewhere else in the shop. Uh, now, DMG Mori equipment is, is a premium brand. There are cheaper ways to go if, you, if you're just looking at price, price, price. How important is price to, to the shops that we're talking about? Did they think too much about the upfront price? See, that's the biggest thing that I, it's like hard to understand for customers when they hear the word DMG Mori. We're always the, the talk about how we're going to be selling as like a Lamborghini, right? You think Lamborghini when you think DMG Mori, right? But we sell cars just like a Ford does that drive every day. So when you start to think about five axis, we have price competitive five axis machines that will help the customer be able to afford them. One piece of advice you could give to that job shop we're talking about is looking to buy for the first time, step up to true five axis, what would that be? See what your cam system and your five axis, the, the five axis machine that you're gonna purchase, see how easy it is to make that transition and that learning curve. There's a lot of times I think that customers see that they want to make that jump, but they don't really know what it, what on the back end, what it might take. So take in consideration a customer that has some type of cam system, but they didn't do the homework and see how much it would cost to get their posts for that machine. So then they buy the machine, they buy all the tools, but they can't make a part. So I would say, if you're gonna buy a five axis machine, make that sure that your cam system can program the machine that you're buying, and then also see what type of training it's gonna be so that you can make parts. Because essentially, at the end of the day, DMG Mori wants to see you make parts and make money so that you can buy more machines. 
Team G. Mori and Dan Strubel say DMU 50 is one way to get productivity when you're first stepping up to true five axis capability. But think about the total part cost and think about your cam system.